Good fearless Monday morning, brothers. This is Monday Morning Musings, and I am Timothy Andrew, the host of From the Basement Podcast. Today's topic is going to be on the Holy Spirit. In God's creation, we are vessels of His Holy Spirit. A.W. Tozer once said, The Spirit-filled life is not a special, deluxe edition of Christianity. It is part and parcel of the total plan of God for His people. It is through the Holy Spirit that we are connected to God, that we are guided in our daily lives, and that we are empowered to live out our faith. It's like a ship in a harbor. The ship is safe, secure, and protected in the harbor, just as we are when we harbor the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Romans 8.16 The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. This is an amazing and wonderful truth that we need to grasp. The Holy Spirit is not just with us, but in us. He is not just a companion, but a part of us. He is the one who confirms our identity as children of God. He is the one who assures us of our place in God's family. This is not just a comforting thought, but a life-changing reality. Look at 1 Corinthians 2, 10-11. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except the Spirit of that person which is in him? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. This tells us that the Holy Spirit is not just a guide, but a revealer of truth. He is the one who helps us understand the things of God. He is the one who brings clarity to our minds and understanding to our hearts. He is the one who makes the deep things of God accessible to us. Look at Romans 14, 6. The one who observes the day, observes it in honor of the Lord. The one who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God. While the one who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord and gives thanks to the God. This is a reminder that the Holy Spirit is not just a presence, but a sanctifier. He is the one who sets us apart for God. He is the one who makes our ordinary day special. He is the one who transforms our mundane tasks into sacred acts of worship. He is the one who makes every moment of our lives meaningful and significant. Ephesians 1, 13 In Him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of of your salvation and believed in him were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. This is a reminder that the Holy Spirit is not just a gift, but a seal. He is the one who marks us as belonging to God. He is the one who secures our salvation. He is the one who guarantees our inheritance in Christ. He is the one who assures us of our eternal destiny. In the midst of our daily lives, we often find ourselves yearning for a sense of direction, a voice that guides us through the maze of decisions and dilemmas we face. This voice, this guiding presence, is none other than the Holy Spirit. Romans 8.14 For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. This verse shapes our identity and purpose as believers. To be led by the Spirit is to be a child of God, to be part of His divine family. This is an active, dynamic interaction where we listen to the Spirit's guidance and respond in obedience. The Holy Spirit's guidance is purposeful 
and intentional. The Holy Spirit leads us according to God's will, guiding us towards decisions and actions that align with God's purpose and plan. This is not a forceful leading, but a gentle, persuasive guidance that respects our free will and invites our cooperation. The Holy Spirit does not impose His will on us, but reveals God's will to us, inviting us to participate in God's redeeming work in the world. Let me conclude with this. Remember that we are not alone in our walk of faith. The Holy Spirit is with us every step of the way, whispering words of wisdom and comfort in times of sorrow, filling our hearts with joy that surpasses all understanding. He is our divine companion, guiding light, and our source of strength. Let us continue to seek His presence, listen for His voice, and honor Him with our thoughts, words, and deeds. Let me pray. Precious Holy Father, help us to carry your love in our hearts, your wisdom in our minds, and your spirit within us. Guide us, Lord, and help us to be a reflection of your love to those around us. In your loving, powerful, precious, and holy name, I pray. Amen. Time to get real. There's a saying that goes, practice what you preach. Look at Matthew 23, 3. So do and observe whatever they tell you, but not the works they do, for they preach, but do not practice. Starting this week, let the words that come from your mouth be wholesome and pure, and look for an opportunity to do a kind deed for someone outside the home and your friend's circle. Thank you for your listening support. Please visit my website, fromthebasement.org, to fill out the comments and feedback section. If you have podcast ideas, please send them my way. Your feedback is kept private and is invaluable to me. For those who wish to contribute further, donations are greatly appreciated to help sustain and improve my podcast and my nonprofit organization. Go faithfully through this week, setting an example for others.